Ear thermometers, also called tympanic thermometers, offer a quick and easy way to check the body temperature by measuring the infrared radiation emitted by the body. Of course, this requires that the ear thermometer performs very accurate measurements. That's why professionals test the accuracy of thermometers prior to sale and often also perform regular metrological verification tests after the sale. This video will explain how to carry out these tests. The procedures described here are in accordance with the applicable ISO and ASTM standards. However, please check the compliance of your procedures with the currently valid versions of these documents. Let's move to the laboratory. The general requirements for the room conditions are the room temperature needs to be 23 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 5 degrees, the relative humidity must be 50%, plus or minus 20%. There should be no direct sunlight and no draft at the measurement location. You will need to prepare a water bath to carry out the test. This must be a regulated reference water bath with circulation and a minimum volume of 5 litres. The temperature stability needs to be better than plus or minus 0.02 degrees Celsius. A local temperature deviation of no more than plus or minus 0.01 degrees Celsius must be maintained from a specified temperature within the operating range of the ear thermometer. You will also need a calibrated reference thermometer to determine the temperature of the water bath. The reference thermometer needs to provide a measurement uncertainty of no more than 0.03 degrees Celsius for a coverage factor of two. It must be traceable to national standards. Finally, you will need a reference cavity radiator. This is a black body which will be immersed in the reference water bath. The measurement uncertainty of the radiator's radiation temperature must not be greater than 0.07 degrees Celsius for a coverage factor of two within the temperature measurement range. If a reference cavity radiator is used according to the recommendation in the applicable standard, the calibration of the reference thermometer is sufficient for traceability to the national standards. To prepare the measurement, first fill the bath. Insert the reference thermometer and the cavity radiator into the bath such that the radiator's tip points towards the thermometer. Place them as close to each other as possible. Make sure that all metal parts of the cavity radiator are immersed in water. Wait until the radiator temperature has settled. This will take at least 30 minutes. Now you can start the measurement. Insert the measuring head into the reference cavity radiator. Note that the air thermometer must comply with the applicable standard. You should find detailed calibration instructions in the thermometer's operating manual. Compare the temperature indicated by the ear thermometer with the temperature of the reference cavity radiator. The difference between the indicated and the reference temperatures must be within the error limits prescribed by DIN EN ISO 80601 Part 2-56 or the manufacturer's specification. If this is the case, you can trust the ear thermometer to deliver reliable and accurate measurement results. Here are some additional things to consider with regard to the calibration process. In most cases, you will activate the calibration mode of the thermometer before doing the measurement. If this is not possible, you will need to convert the thermometer's reading by following the correction procedures specified by the manufacturer. The check must be carried out at three cavity radiator temperatures distributed more or less evenly over the temperature display range. This video provided a simplified description of the calibration process for infrared thermometers. For more information, please consult the PTV websites or contact us directly.